What's going on everyone, my name is Size, and in today's video I'm bringing you guys my build that I like to call Hellstorm. This build revolves around using high pressure tactics to inflict stagger and end comboing them with our PAL driver. We use double uh, siege missile launchers to achieve that. It is really fun to see all the missiles go out and then just our high pressure tactics with this Vermin and PAL driver. And we hit the stagger with our missiles and then we go in for our PAL driver and combo to one shot them. This build is extremely fun, fast paced, you dash a lot, you're instantly in people's faces. It is satisfying to play and I think you guys will really enjoy it. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the build. For our left and right arm unit, we are running dual apparatives. These are siege missile launchers. What they do is they shoot 13 slow mode missiles and then after a second they'll all rapidly accelerate at the enemy and they have pretty good tracking as well if the enemy's dashing. Now since we're running two of these, we'll be shooting out 26 missiles. Now these things stagger fantastically against bosses, enemies, um, and PvP. They allow us to really kind of just pull these out, shoot them, and then swap to our other two uh, backhand weapons and just fly in while these guys are tracking and we get some really high pressure combos going on. And then once we do hit that stagger, we end it with the PAL driver and just one shot the enemy. Now for our right back shoulder weapon, we are running the Zimmerman. The Zimmerman is a high powered shotgun that does great attack power and great impact and allows us to stagger really easily. Since we are also, like I said, running dual siege missile launchers, we're pretty much going to stagger the enemy almost 99% of the time with that. But for the off chance that some of our missiles miss, we can just dash in, hit them with the Zimmerman, as well as our missiles kind of hitting them, and we should uh, stagger them pretty easily and then end combo it with the power driver to one shot them. Now, for our left back shoulder weapon, we are running the power bunker. The power bunker is a fantastic melee weapon that does high attack power and high impact, and once fully charged, it is one of the best melee weapons you can use for damage. Now, I tried using other melee weapons like the chainsaw with this build. While the chainsaw, in my opinion, is very wonky, sometimes it'll hit, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you'll stagger an enemy and be in their face using it, and it won't hit consistently. It only hit a few times out of its full charge. It is very weird and inconsistent, in my opinion, in which it leaves a very disappointing taste in your mouth when you try to use it. Now with the pile bunker, the pile bunker usually never misses. Yes, you have to be very close range, but we are a high dash mobility AC, so we can easily just dash in their face and then use the pile bunker when they're staggered, and we usually get it off about 90% of the time. Or ahead we're running the 20081 Mind Alpha. Now this gives us good AP, really good defenses, and pretty good altitude stability and system recovery. Now you could use other helmets, but you have to make sure you're under our total EN load, which is 2480. Since our EN output is only 2480 with this helmet, we barely scrape by with everything we have on. But like I said, you could use some other helmets if you wanted. Make sure that you don't go above that EN, um, total EN load. Now for our core run, the VP40S. The VP40S is pretty much just all around a good core. Um, it does good AP and defenses, as well as good boost efficiency, generator output, and altitude stability. Just all around a really good solid uh, core for our frame here. Now you could use some other ones, but you have to make sure that you don't have an EN shortfall. So we are very limited on what cores we can use, and in my opinion, the VP40S is one of the best. There is some others, like you could use the HAL um, 826 if you wanted, but our weight does go up, which um, kind of, you know, plays with our uh, quick boost reload time a little bit, and uh, I wanted to dash fast as possible with this build, so I wanted to go with the VP40S to achieve that. For our arms, we're running the uh, Basho arms. Now, since we do have PAL driver, we do want to get our melee specialization high as possible, so this way when we do use it, we're getting the maximum amount of damage out that we can. Now you could run other arms, but like I said, you want to go for melee specialization, this way we maximize damage with our PAL bunker, and the Basho arms allows us to achieve that. For our lays, we're running the HAL 826. Now these lays are just all around decent, good AP, good defenses, and decent altitude stability and load limit. Now you could run some other legs here, like you could run the um, Maylander legs and the Jailbreak, but they really don't give good AP or defenses, um, and kind of going to lose one area if you do try to run different legs. And with our legs, the How 826, we're pretty much all around just good. You know, we don't lose anything, but we don't do anything insane. So, in my opinion, these legs are just really well overall. Now, for our boosters running the gills, yes, I know the gills again, but the gills just allows us to literally just get our quick boost reload time as low as possible, and uh, as well as keeping a really good energy recharge delay. Now, you could, I guess, run with a different booster, but as you can see, like, every other booster just adds more quick boost reload time, you know, drops our speed, um, and I wanted to be really quick as well as be able to dash uh, really fast. So, the gills allows us to achieve that, 
and uh, in my opinion, it's the best booster for this build. Now our FCS, we're gonna be running the uh, FCS G2P10 uh, SLT. This is basically a uh, FCS that allows our missile lock correction to be highest as possible. And since we are running dual siege missile launchers, we want them to lock on as fast as possible and correct. This way we're not spending, you know, a whole two, three seconds waiting for these things to lock on the shoot. We can just pull them out, shoot, fly back to our other weapons and keep putting that high pressure on the enemy. Now for our generator, we're on the Ling Tai. Ling Tai gives us really good EN uh, recharge as well as supply recovery and allows us to keep our EN recharge delay and equip boost below time low as possible. Now we do have room to run a lot of different generators. So if you guys don't like this one or you have uh, some other generator in mind you think that might be better, go ahead and run that. We have a lot of flexibility here, so just choose whatever generator feels good to you guys. Now for our expansion, we're running the Assault Armor. Like I said previously in all my other build videos, Assault Armor, in my opinion, is probably one of the best expansions you can have. In PvP, it allows you to get out of situations where you might be staggered or be caught into a combo. And in PvE, it allows you to basically just drop shields like uh, Baltius' shield instantly right off the rip to go straight into DPS mode. For iOS tuning, you want to get Weapon Bay, Boost Kick, Assault Armor, Explosive damage, melee damage, and direct hit damage. Everything else you guys can put the points into whatever you want, so feel free to do what you guys want. First up, we have Balteus as usual. We're gonna shoot our missiles, going for an assault boost kick into our assault armor to break his shield. Then we go Zimmerman in the PAL bunker, and there he already lost about 40% of his health. Now we're gonna shoot our missile barrages to drop cooldown, dash at him, knowing our missiles are gonna stagger him into a kick. Then we're just gonna combo again, and he's already lost about 80% of his health, 90% of his health. Now we're gonna shoot our missile brush, basically just keeping his face and under him so his melee attacks don't hit, knowing that our missile brush is gonna do about half his shield already. Then we just finish him off again with those more mentions of missile from the tiger, and we just finish him off with our battle bunker. Like I said, this is an insane build. It does so much damage for PvE and PvP, and honestly, you can see for yourself in the showcases that this build is no joke. Here we have the Enforcer, we're going to just fly to him, shoot our missiles, and get in his face, hit him with the Zimmerman, he'll get staggered here, hit him with the Pile Bunker, and basically just keep on repeating. Now we're going to fly above him, shoot our missiles so it doesn't get um, interrupted by the train, shoot a Zimmerman on him, he gets staggered again into our Pile Bunker, and he's already at half health. Basically just going to keep repeating this process until he dies, we're going to back up a little bit, let our missile barrages uh, pull down. Shoot him again, hit him with our Zimmerman, stagger him into our PAL bunker, and he's going into phase two here with his giant Eloise. So we can easily just go above him to dodge this, shoot our missiles, into our Zimmerman again for a stagger, into our PAL bunker, and he is already dead. We finish him off with another shotty shot, and that is the Enforcer down. Here we have the PvP showcase. So the way you want to play this build in PvP is you want to shoot your missiles, play distance, and once you hit those missiles and you fire them, you want to then go in and try to get that quick stagger to the uh, pile driver. If you don't, you want to reset and try again until you eventually hit the stagger. Now we hit our missiles there, we go in, the Zimmerman we miss, we're going to back out and redo our missiles and retry that pressure again. Head back in, go for the assault kick, we miss, actually we do hit, my bad. And we're going you know, think about back and I, we're going to go for the assault kick, hit the stun, and I messed up thinking that I had my power driver out. We're gonna back off, we're gonna hit a hard reset here. We go for the zoom and a miss, we hit a kick. We go for the power driver, we end up missing because he uh, did a little like delayed back dash and we died. I honestly think right there that was something with the uh, hit reg of the servers. Maybe I lied or he lied a little bit because that looked like a weird like kind of stun, you know, like stunned him and he like dashed back and then back further. But we were down one round so we gotta make up for it. So we're going to try the same exact thing in round one, and but this time we're going to just not mess up on our pal driver and, you know, shoot our missiles on accident. We're going for a kick to our Zimmerman. He does assault armor. We're going to counter him. Went to our pal driver, and he is dead. So we won that round. Then we're going to go into the tiebreaker round. Now, like I said, the whole thing is just shooting your missiles, high pressure into a stagger, into a pal driver. That's your whole PvP combo. Sometimes you get some lag like that on round one or whatever that was desync and you lose. Sometimes it goes just like round two nice and smoothly. So now we're going to try staggering our missiles and playing up to try to even uh, put more pressure on him. Once we do get the stagger with the Zimmerman and our missile combo and then we just one shot him with our power driver. 
So as you can see, the DPS and the playstyle in PvP is insane. We do quick damage once we stagger and we one-shot them, clean them up. It's a lot of fun, and I think you guys will really enjoy the build. If you guys did enjoy the video and build, if you guys could please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that means a ton to me. It lets me know you guys are enjoying these builds, and lets me know to keep putting out videos on Armorcore in the future. I hope you guys do have a good rest of your day or night, depending on where you're at, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.